Let's go back to Mombasa County, where the county government has launched an action plan for dealing with extremism. County Governor Ali Hassan Joho launched the initiative this morning as he called for partnership with all the players. Let's now link up with our Coast Region reporter, Francis Ontomwa, for details about this particular event. Francis, good afternoon. What exactly does this action plan entail? Well, Akisa, it has been an insightful event here at the Chandaria Hall, Mombasa, and Vita constituency, where the Mombasa County stakeholders who have been trying to find answers around the violent extremism subject have been putting their heads together, and today they have come up with a document they are calling uh, the Action Plan to Counter Violent Extremism. They say that it has taken them some 17 months to prepare this particular document, and it will take now five years to implement this project, which will cost uh, them four billion shillings, actually, to be able to, to, be able to put it uh, through. And why this uh, import, why this program actually is very relevant here in Mombasa is the fact that Mombasa has actually bore the brunt of uh, violent extremism and radicalization actually. And uh, we've seen even tribal adv advisories, security being a huge challenge here in Mombasa and all in a bit to try and find answers around this subject. That is why they are having, uh, they are launching this particular uh, uh, document. And uh, to discuss this further, I want to bring in the chief executive uh, uh, director or rather the chief executive officer of Haki Africa, Mr. Halid Hussein, to talk to us and give us a bit of insights. Uh, welcome to KTN, Bona Halid. Thank you so much. Are you finally finding the answers around the subject violent extremism in Mombasa? Oh, yes, definitely. And uh, we are very happy today to have launched this uh, four billion uh, action plan. And it's a five year action plan. And for many years, people have been working disjointedly doing different things at different times. But finally, as Mombasa County, we've been able to bring all the leaders together, national government, county government, and we are addressing violent extremism as one people, as one community. Violent extremism, fairly a new area in uh, different facets of discussions here in Kenya. Perhaps, what did it take really to find, uh, to, to put, uh, what did it take uh, for stakeholders to find uh, the right inputs into this subject so that we have a final document? I think uh, for Mombasa County, it's the realization that actually violent extremism is a local problem. I think before now, many people were viewing it as an international issue. They were viewing it as a national responsibility. And they didn't feel like Mombasa as a county, we had a responsibility to address violent extremism. So that realization that actually it's our youth whom we are losing, that it's our youth who are being killed, it's our religious leaders who are being killed, that realization made us as a community, as a people, now take action into our own hands and say enough is enough, mjiwetu wajibuetu. Of course, I can imagine how big this document is. Perhaps if you could give us a few pointers, the takeaways that you could talk about this document. What, is, what, did, what stands out actually for you in this document? For me, what stands out is the additional pillars that we've added besides the nine pillars that are already in the national strategy. Because the national strategy is supposed to be devolved to the county level. But the additional pillars, particularly one on the economic issues and the second one on women, because these two pillars are extremely important. For Mombasa, the push and pull factors, we know them. Poverty leads many youth to look for other means of survival. The same poverty leads many to feel when they join Al-Shabaab, they'll get you know, ways of earning money and all that. Women, as an important pillar of our society, that is very crucial to have in this action plan. So that, for me, as a takeaway, and more so the fact that this action plan has placed the responsibility on different actors within Mombasa County and asked everyone to contribute towards its implementation. And finally, is this document only tailored for the coast region or it is applicable in the entire country? We believe that this document is actually a blueprint from the Mombasa County strategy. All other counties can borrow a leaf to develop their own county strategies. It's the only county strategy at the moment that has brought into it all assets, I mean all, all, all uh, actors to work on it and also uh, be included in its implementation. So I believe this action plan is not just for Mombasa, but it brings together the coastal region and the country at large. As the NCTC said, if we get Mombasa right, we will get Kenya right. Finally, uh, it's important that I ask you this question. Uh, what challenges do you foresee in the implementation of this program? I think for us, uh, the greatest challenge was to bring actors together. Those actors are already on board. So for now, the greatest challenge would be resource mobilization. As you know, it's a four billion, I mean, it's a two billion five-year program for which on average we're expecting 
to spend 400 million. So that's the greatest challenge. But we've had commitments from the county governor, uh, His Excellency Hassan Joho. We've had commitments from the county commissioner. We also want to bring on board the private sector. So resource mobilization is definitely a big challenge, but we hope that we'll be able to surmount that challenge. Right. Many thanks, Mr. Halid Hussein. Halid Hussein there, the Chief Executive Officer of Haki Africa, giving his insights regarding the, the grand launch of today of that document they are calling us, that the one that will offer answers for violent extremism and radicalization here in the coast region. Of course, uh, they, they expect to, be, to begin the implementation of this project almost right away so that it actually bears uh, some fruit and it changes lives actually here in Mombasa County. Back to you.